unlikely to do so I would think and will go on trying to land a big right hand Another right hand clipped Winston, the side of the draw. Half a minute left in the fourth round. Winston at times living dangerously, but boxing beautifully. Well, this is a superb exhibition, apart from the odd moments when he looks as though he's putting his chin in the way of trouble. A superb exhibition of boxing by Winston, who really is keeping the arts and science of boxing alive in this country today. Anderson took a bit of a boxing lesson from Jimmy Revy on February the 20th when he won his British Junior Lightweight Championship but he stopped Revy in the ninth round and had him down a couple of times so he's a dangerous man all the way through this is what Winston has to guard against the world champion at featherweight nine stone against the British champion at nine stone four Jimmy Anderson Beautiful bit of anticipation by Winston, just swaying back, letting the punches swing by his jaw. He's putting a whole textbook, a whole manual of boxing into this one fight. so many times in this fight when your heart sort of comes up into your mouth when you see a right hand swing from Anderson and it grazes the jaw of Winston and you really got to admire the way Anderson is carrying this on because he has been walking now through a fusillade of punches in his face for round after round and still plugging forward and always working for the knockout. <laughs> well, 
Well, Anderson started this fight sensationally by decking Winston. And of course, if he can beat him, if he can do it again, he'll make a worldwide reputation overnight. This young man who's had only 28 fights. Anderson, we assume to be a few pounds heavier than Winston. Probably something like two or three pounds and no more. Anderson tall and rather gaunt looking, but with shoulders that give away the fact that he can punch. Most punches you can sort of tell by the way their, their shoulders are made. That sort of hunched up look. He almost stopped Winston in his tracks a minute into the sixth round. What a fascinating fight this is. rapier of Winston and the bludgeon of Anderson and what a fight it's making. quite the same sort of dominance in this round as he has in the previous few. Winston, I think, is having a bit of a breather in this one. He hasn't thrown so many punches. 